Hi guys, welcome along back to West Brom Fan TV. It's Warren here from WBI Vlogs back again on the channel today. And before we head into this transfer daily video, if you could subscribe to my channel, the link will be at the top of the description. Uh, I do my own West Bromwich Albion content on there with vlogs and sometimes reviews and previews of the game, etc. So if you could go over there and hit subscribe, it'd be very much appreciated. And let's get into the video. Now, we learnt that Dar O'Shea would be out for four months with an ankle injury that he picked up for the Republic of Ireland whilst on international duty. And as I am recording this video now, John Percy from The Telegraph has confirmed that Keane Bryan, the man who has been linked with Albion recently since O'Shea's injury for this transfer daily video, is going to sign for West Bromwich Albion. He's had a medical earlier today and he will come in as defensive cover for O'Shea and Clark. So I'm going to go through a bit about Keane Bryan, what you can expect from him, his career so far. So I uh, hope you guys do enjoy it and let's get on with it. So Keane Bryan is currently 24 years old and he made his mark in professional football through the Youth Academy at Manchester City. During his time at the club, he had loan spells at Bury and Oldham and then decided to join Sheffield United and he only played 13 games for the Blades before being loaned out to Bolton Wanderers. So during his short career at clubs, he's never really had a long period of time to settle at one club and West Brom have taken a punt on him on a free transfer. And for me, I think it's a sensible decision uh, with O'Shea and Clark out. Clark's not going to be back for another month. O'Shea's not going to be back probably until the new year. So it only leaves Cedric Kipre and youngster Caleb Taylor as the only other centre-halves at the club alongside Carl Bartley and Shemi Joy. So I think bringing him in on a free um, for six months or a year, whatever it may be, I think it's a wise decision. We need cover there. I've not got the most confidence in Cedric Gipre, I can't lie. I know he's only had one game against Bournemouth and it's hard to judge on one performance, but I think we definitely need some cover there. I think it's a bit too early for Caleb Taylor to be coming into a side that's competing for promotion back to the Premier League. So... As I say, sensible signing, good age, still has potential and hopefully he can really kickstart his career at Albion and make some progress. So after doing a slight bit more research on Keane Bryant, I found out that he is left footed and I think that's the main factor that has brought him to the club. We needed someone on the left side of that three back that was naturally left footed to make it easier to play passes into the full backs and wingers and I think Keane Bryan if he can come into the side and fill the void that Matt Clark has left the defence will be stable enough without them uh, for the short term future so guys if you've enjoyed the video make sure to smash a like subscribe to West Brom Fan TV if you're new and leave your comments down below of Keane Bryan coming to Albion do you think it's going to be a good signing I think it is for cover for O'Shea and Clark let me know what you think and I'll see you guys for more videos on the channel very soon cheers